Stanislav Ivanovich Rogolev, Russian. Cyrillic capital letter S, Cyrillic small letter T, Cyrillic small letter E, Cyrillic small letter E N, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter S, Cyrillic small letter L, Cyrillic small letter E, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic capital letter I, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic small letter E, Cyrillic small letter E N, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic small letter I. Cyrillic small letter J, Cyrillic capital letter E R, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter G, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter L, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter V. February 14th, 1941. June 19th, 1984 was a Soviet serial killer. For one and a half years, he attacked 21 women, killing 10 of them. In 1980, Rogolev was convicted four times, and charged once with rape. According to writer Alexander Chekhov, Rogolev was the informer of Alois Vazinis, a police officer, who, in turn, tried to shield Rogolev. In particular, he gave Rogolev full information about the crimes, fabricating a confession in which he could be declared insane. It was also believed that Rogolev had information about the progress of the investigation. According to a writer and lawyer Andres Grutubs, Rogolev was a secret agent of the Deputy Minister, General Andres Kavliris. The shock is still too soft a word to describe the state in which Latvia was in the early 80s. Schoolgirls went to classes in close knit groups, husbands greeted wives from late trains and all over the place were reinforced police detachments. In every doorway, law-abiding citizens, frightened by a man, seemed to see the worst and most bloody maniac of Latvia of the Soviet period, Stanislav Rogolev. Crimes The first sexual crime, for which he was judged separately, Rogolev committed before the 1980s. In October 1980, Rogolev committed another sexual assault, along with his accomplice Aldis Fair. On October 26, 1980, near the Jumprava station, Rogolev threatened a 17-year-old girl with a knife, dragging her into a nearby forest. When she started screaming, he beat her with a knife handle and tried to rape her, but couldn't. The girl escaped and reached her home, where her relatives lived. On November 8 in Salaspils, Near the Dole station at 7 in the morning, Rogolev twice stabbed a 44-year-old woman in the stomach because she did not want to talk to him. She survived the attack. On November 18, together with Aldis Fair, Rogolev beat and raped a woman, who managed to escape. On November 26, 200 meters away from the Lilupe station, Rogolev stabbed a 27-year-old woman in the stomach, but she continued to resist. After people started approaching the scene, he fled. On November 27, near the Jumprava station, Rogolev tried to attack a 24-year-old girl. She saved herself by blinding the attacker several times with a flashlight. She got off with a slight bodily injury. In December, he raped an 18-year-old girl 70 meters away from her house. On the night of the New Year in Babite, Rogolev and Sver dragged a 34-year-old woman into the forest where they raped, robbed and murdered her. In March 1981, he robbed and killed a 47-year-old woman. On April 8, 1981 in the area of the Skiratava station, Rogolev outlined another victim, a woman in a state of intoxication. He knocked her down, picked her up and took her to the nearest bushes, where he raped her twice and killed her afterwards. In July 1981, in Vakaki, Rogolov tried to kill a man in self-defense. After deciding that the young man had died, he beat and robbed a 16-year-old girl close by. In late July 1981, after a joint dinner at a restaurant, Rogolov invited a 43-year-old vacationer from Chelyabinsk to his apartment where he raped, robbed and then strangled her. On August 27, 1981, Rogolev was waiting at the train station when he saw a lonely 24-year-old girl who got off the train in Azkrawakal. He attacked her and inflicted about 80 blows on her. For this crime, three other men were initially charged, one of them sentenced to death, 
and only after Rogolev's confession were they dismissed. In September 1981, Rogolev made four attacks, and in March 1982, he attacked twice. In April 1982, after a party in the bar, Jewers Pearl, Rogolev went to the beach with two girls, one of whom he killed, while the other managed to escape. Investigation Wanted Stanislav Ivanovich Rogolev, born in 1941, height 180 centimeters, solid, athletic build, weight 100 kilograms, hair is dark, wavy. To catch the maniac, a special detective group was formed. It is believed that Rogolev had information about the investigation process did not give any success to the detective group. After the murder in the Jewers Pearl group, police experts went on an unprecedented measure. They took fingerprints from all the bottles that were on the tables that evening. And they then calculated Rogolev's fingerprints. After the criminal was put on the wanted list, his accomplice Fair turned himself into the Dubalti militia and suggested that Rogolev possibly resided in Ulbroka. The police, after this incident, received an informal order not to take him alive. Rogolev was detained by two young police officers who did not know about the unofficial order. He tried to escape during the detention, but Rogolev was incapacitated by the officers and fell down on the ground. Evidence and tools from the crimes were found in his apartment. Rogolev himself willing confessed after the detention. Psychiatric examination under the leadership of Professor Shostakovich from the Serbsky Center recognized Rogolev as sane. The lawyer tried to appeal this decision arguing that during the war Stanislav and his mother were bombed and buried alive, and excavated only after a few hours. All his life Ogolev had suffered from hallucinations, drank diazepam and other potent medicines, which, when paired with alcohol could cause increased aggressiveness. And in prison he was always beaten, because he was convicted for rape. Rogolev was sentenced to death and executed by firing squad in Leningrad on June 19, 1984. The case was conducted by the investigator for special cases Janus Skrastin Sedilla.if You believe the police legend, after awarding him the highest measure Stanislav Rogolev behaved extremely apathetic and was completely indifferent to everything that happens around. But at the airport, when he was taken to the place of execution of punishment in Leningrad, already sentenced to seeing a beautiful girl, suddenly enlivened and said, If I could have one more of this, and then shoot. References Literature, Case Number 1, Alexander Chekhlov, Riga, 1992-1995 Maniac, Latvian, Maniacs, Andres Grutups, Adena, 2010. Documentaries Documentary Film, Agent 000 from the series, The Investigation Was Conducted, 2011.